An American inventor born in Scotland named Alexander Graham Bell was interested in speech due to his mother's death. He would often think his mother could hear the vibration in his voice. By the age 16, Bell began teaching music and formal speech. After combining his two interests, speech and music, Bell experimented with tuning instruments and realized how sound could be transmitted by metal, therefore led him to wonder if speech could be transmitted over wire. His questioning about transmitting sound over wire soon led him to work with the deaf at Boston School for Deaf Mutes in 1871 and 1873. Later, in 1874, Bell met Thomas Watson, who was a young electrician and drew the first sketches of the telephone. The telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell after he tried to improve the telegraph. As told by Len Ringel, Bell believed that multiple messages could be sent over a wire if the sounds had a different pitch, which is how the ear responds to the frequency of the sound waves. In October 1874, Alexander Graham Bell, his father-in-law, Gardiner Green Hubbard, and the wealthy father of one of Bell's former students, Thomas Sanders, all formed the Bell Telephone Company, which is now known as AT&T, which is also the largest telephone company in the world. In 1975, Alexander Graham Bell and Thomas Watson proved a wire depends on the tone of sound. Therefore, they needed a transmitter to send the currents and a receiver to reproduce the variations. Then, on March 10, 1876, the first telephone call occurred. The famous saying, Watson, come here, I want to see you, is famous because the saying was the first call ever made by the telephone. The words spoken through the telephone were not as clear as hoped, but it still improved more and more throughout the centuries, and became a change in the world by beginning a daily used invention, the telephone.